All right, we're going to try to do a caster over real quick and explain uh, the basic operation of our compressed air foam system. All the engagements can happen inside the cab. We've got all the switches here. I'm going to just hold on the caps compressor. It's going to engage a water pump foam system, and then after the delay, it's also going to be the compressed air foam system. So from there, we do everything else out of the pump panel. All right, so I'm just going to confirm a couple things real quick. My foam system is, in fact, on. So is my caps, and I want to make sure that's set to the auto setting. I'm going to go over to the control mode here. Go ahead and set it to pressure, and I hit the preset. That's going to go ahead and throttle up to 100 PSI, and I'm confirming it there. And it's also matching it on the compressed air foam system. So from here, I'll go ahead and pull the preconnect. Anytime with a compressed air foam operation, I'm going to go ahead and spin this off so I've got my smoothbore tip. All right, when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and call for water. I'm going to go ahead and open this valve here, and almost as soon as I get water down out the system, I'm going to go ahead and engage the air line, the air to the system right here. Okay, the setup there was for a uh, uh, wet type foam, wet cast, which would be used for direct fire attack. In a second, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, do tri foam. All right, just to review real quick the settings: main pump pressure 100 psi, which is the auto setting. Compressor is on auto, which matches the pressure there. Water valve all the way open. Air valve on. 0.3% on the foam system, and then the last part over there on the nozzle side is where we've got the 15 16 on the tip. Now I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to show you just real quickly how to switch this over to a dry cast. There's really only two settings. I'm going to choke down the water here, and I'm going to change the tip there. On the puck, we have an indication here of where to put the water valve. And if this was a, uh, a conventional pump panel, we'd go ahead and gate that down so there's about four fingers there. When this is flowing, it's going to drop the water pressure down to about 60 psi. For dry cast, the second change is we're going to take off the 15 sixteenths. And we're going to use the 1 and 3 eighths open butt here. That's how you make a mess. System shutdown is pretty easy. Drop the pressure down. Close the water valve. Go ahead and turn off the air line there. And then go ahead and disconnect the caps and the foam system there. Pretty important on these, don't flush the foam out of your system. If you do that, the next time you leak caps, it's going to take you a minute to get the foam into the system. So really, there's no other flush from here. We're going to go ahead and bleed off the line put it away and that's it. Okay, just real briefly, I want to go over the nozzle setups that we're using here. Uh, this, these nozzles are used both for uh, compressed air foam, wet or dry, or just standard water, either with or without foam. 
For a non-cast operation, we're going to use the full nozzle we've got here, which is uh, really all three parts, the bale, the, uh, the, the slug tip, and then the metro, which is set at 125 GPM at, uh, at 100 PSI. If we're doing water only, that's primarily what we're going to be using. However, also with this nozzle, if we're in some sort of a situation where we're in a low water situation, or there's a problem, maybe we're getting rocks or rust stuck in it, as an emergency nozzle, we can go ahead and spin this off and then just use the 15 16 as an emergency low pressure nozzle, or it can go ahead and pass the breather. And that would be important if you're in some sort of a, a standpipe situation or, or low pressure situation like that. So that's, that's what we'd use for water. Uh, for casts again, for wet casts, which is what we use for any direct fire attack, we, it's very important that you leave the 15 16 on there. That's going to give us a good soupy foam, kind of like a kind of like a clam chowder consistency, because it's still the water in the cast that needs to get inside the, 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 the residence or the car fire to go ahead and cool it down. If we're in more of a wildland situation, we're doing pre-treating, where we're going to go ahead and pre-treat uh, uh, buildings or, or, or chaparral or something around uh, the building, then we want to go to a dry cast. In that case, we take off the 15 16 and we're just going to use the basically the pistol grip uh, a bale only, which is a one and three eighths. The only other change we do as kind of a review, at the pump panel, we go ahead and choke down the water pressure to, to the line that shows the, the dry caps. Um, and that's going to put the restriction there. The way caps works, it's really, really important. At the pump panel, uh, we've got foam being injected in, uh, just typical class A foam. It could be Silvex uh, or really any of the other major brands work pretty good. That gets injected in through the Husky foam system at 0.3%. Water pressure, we're always pumping that at 100 PSI, and we've got the air pressure to match that. The important part is that you have to have a minimum amount of hose. Now, we use inch and a half hose here. The longer the hose is, or the smaller the diameter is, the more mixing we'll get, which is going to make a better and better foam for us. If we're in a situation where we don't have enough mixing, or we don't have the water, air, and foam mixing properly, then we're going to have just pure air coming out of the nozzle here. And when that happens, we call it chug, where it kind of kicks back on you a little bit. If that continues to happen, you need to come up with some way to increase your mixing, either using a smaller diameter hose, using a longer lay, or as a last resort, go ahead and bump up the foam concentration to like 0.4 or 0.5%. And if that doesn't fix your problem, then, then you probably have some other part of your system not working right. Just wanted to give a brief review there. And along with that, um, kinks in the hose, you want to avoid those at all possible because when you get a kink, it's going to strip the foam, pop all the bubbles that's already been produced in the hose line. Uh, I think that's it. Just wanted to give a review on the nozzles and, uh, and, and the hose we're using. And, and obviously, we're not using inch and three quarter, basically because with casts, we don't really feel we need to. We can get good fire knockdown with just a lighter weight hose. And of course, this thing, which has got casts in it right now, is just super lightweight and really, really maneuverable. All right, that's it.